Hello, my name is Kate Anderson. I'm a final year urology resident at Dalhousie University in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm going to be presenting our work on uh, cannabinoids for interstitial cystitis bladder pain syndrome. I don't have anything to disclose. So as we all know, IC uh, can be a very challenging condition to treat uh, and is often chronic. Our treatment goals for our patients are mainly to minimize their symptoms and thereby maximize their quality of life. The endocannabinoid system has recently gleaned some attention in research because there's been some work done on animals as well as some case reports in humans where it's been shown to show potential benefit. And this may be because cannabinoid receptors have been found to be present in the bladder. A survey done of men uh, in Canada with the chronic prostatitis pelvic pain syndrome found about half of them were using it for their symptoms. And as you may know, uh, cannabis became legalized and widely available in Canada in 2018. And it is also available, of course, in um, other countries. So we thought the time was right to look into this for our patients. And so we looked to determine if patients with ICBPS are using cannabis products for their symptom management. We wanted to elicit their perceptions regarding using cannabis products and to determine if higher puff scores correlated with use of product. Uh, so we uh, designed a prospective cross-sectional survey study and we started accruing patients about six months after cannabis was legalized in our jurisdiction jurisdiction. Um, we had a six-month response collection period. In our survey package, we included the puff scale as well as a um, demographics and perceptions of cannabis questionnaire, which was modeled off of uh, work previously published in the Pain Journal in 2003. So for our inclusion criteria, our patients were all adult patients seen at our office or clinic and they had to either have a new or established diagnosis of ICBPS. We used SPSS statistics to run our analyses. And our population is described here in table one. Um, essentially, we had 97 total participants and we defined cannabis users as those having uh, reported to use cannabis within the last six months. The median age of our patients was 49 years. Most of our patients were female. The majority were also non-smokers uh, of tobacco. And there were no major differences found uh, between our two groups, except that in the age 60 plus, we did have many more non-users. The symptoms for which our patients mainly reported using cannabis products was bladder pain, pressure, and discomfort. We found that our patients had a good effectiveness from cannabis, and so 83% reported that they found it at least slightly effective for their symptoms. 60% uh, of patients said they had no negative side effects at all. If they did have negative side effects, it was mainly increased appetite, dry mouth, and anxiety. Um, none of our patients said that they had to increase other IC BPS medications they were taking um, due to being using cannabis. Uh, and about 38% actually were able to uh, decrease or discontinue completely other medications they were taking for IC. We used the PUFF score to try to um, qualify the severity of our patient's IC, and we found the mean score was 20.4. Uh, we didn't find any correlation between worse puff score or worse IC and using cannabis, and we also didn't find any difference uh, with a t-test between the two groups, cannabis users versus non-users. So in conclusion, we did find that our IC BPS patients are commonly using cannabis, and most patients with IC who use it perceive it to be helpful for their symptoms, uh, and it is well, relatively well tolerated with minimal side effects. Some patients we found were able to actually decrease or completely discontinue some other medications they were taking for IC. And we didn't find any correlation between worse puff score and likelihood of using IC, uh, sorry, using cannabis for their symptoms. So for future directions, we wonder if perhaps uh, certain subtypes of IC BPS may be more beneficial or find cannabis more beneficial, in particular the pelvic pain predominant group perhaps. And we definitely think that there needs to be further research done on this topic before we can make a um, definitive recommendation regarding the clinical utility of cannabis for IC symptom management. Thank you so much for your attention.